In this video, you will learn how to create ledgers in Tally. So what are ledgers? A ledger holds records of transactions which caused increase or decrease in the value of that ledger. So for example, a cash account ledger records all cash receipts and cash payments. As you can see on your screen, there is a cash ledger which contains opening balance of Rs 89,500. So this opening balance has been taken from the previous year balance sheet. We need to record the same information in tally. So apart from cash ledger, we need to create the following ledgers in tally. So how do we create those ledgers? Let's find out. Open tally. You can see that the company which we created in the previous video its name is displayed over here so it means that this is the current company which is selected and on which we are working to create ledgers you need to select the option accounts info navigate on the option and press enter then select the option ledgers and select create which is under single ledger the ledger creation screen will appear the name of the screen will be displayed on the top left corner of the screen so now let's create the first ledger which is the capital account so the name of the account is owners capital so in the name field you need to type the name of the ledger which you are creating press enter to highlight the next field in the field alias you can provide an alternate name for your ledger and it is an optional field so if you do not wish to provide an alternate name then you can skip this field so for this example I am not going to enter any alternate name so I will press enter and move to the next field for the field under you need to specify the group of the ledger that you are creating you can select the group from the list of group which is available on the right side. So what is a group? A group will define the type of ledger that you are creating. For example, if I am creating a ledger for meter deposit, then I need to select the group as deposits. And if I am creating a ledger for a bank account, then I need to specify the group as bank accounts. Similarly, there are group for every type of ledger. For purchase account, you need to specify the group as purchase account. Now for the owner's capital account, we need to select the group as capital account which is selected by default. So I don't need to change the value over here, so I'll just press the enter key. The remaining fields are not relevant for this ledger, so I will just skip them. Now in the field opening balance, you need to provide the opening balance amount. Let me enter the amount and press enter. So when you press enter you can see that the amount is suffixed with the letter CR. Capital is a liability to the business and usually liabilities contains credit balance. Therefore Tally has selected the appropriate type of balance as credit balance. Press the enter key again. Tally will prompt you to save the ledger creation. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl A to save the ledger creation. So I will just save this ledger creation. Alright, so we just created one ledger with its opening balance. Now we can continue to create other ledgers. You can press the page up key to view the ledgers which you have created. So if I press the key page up, it will display all those ledgers which are existing and see you can see that the owner's capital account is also present over here. So in case if you want to make any changes to this ledger then you can uh, make changes and save the ledger again. And if you press the page down key, it will take you to the new ledger creation screen. 
so just remember that the uh, keys page up and page down is used for uh, navigation across ledger creation now let's create the remaining ledgers but we will create it in another way press the escape key to come out of the ledger creation screen tally will prompt you before exiting press the letter y now uh, from this options select the option create which is under multiple ledgers and press enter notice the name of the screen multi ledger creation which means that we would be able to create multiple ledgers at once let me show you how to create multiple ledgers for the field under group select the group as all items now type the name of the first ledger the ledger shivam enterprises is related to a seller and all sellers are grouped under sundry creditors therefore select the group as sundry creditors let me just type the name of the group sundry okay and select it and enter its opening balance and notice that the balance type is automatically selected by tally now press enter the bill wise details screen will appear here you need to specify the bills for which the due amount of rupees 15000 is accumulated so suppose if this amount of rupees 15000 is due for two invoices then i need to enter those invoice information over here so one of my purchase was dated on 23rd of march in 2019 which is a period from previous financial year and the bill number was bill number 101 and its due date was 4th of april 2019 which is a period from current financial year and the bill amount was rupees 10000 rupees all right so i need i have one more bill which is due and it was dated on 28th of march 2019 and the bill number was bill number 102 and the due date i can either specify a due date or due days depending on the agreement between the buyer and seller so for this bill i was provided with 15 days of due days so i'll just enter 15 days as due days okay so you can see that the due date is also automatically calculated entering all this information is not required but it is a good practice and for the sake of learning i am showing you all these things so now keep pressing enter until you come out of this screen now you can create uh, the remaining ledgers i just entered the information about remaining ledgers pay special attention to its group see how each group is related to its respective ledger so after entering all this information press control a to create these ledgers so this is how you create multiple ledgers but there is one more ledger which needs to be created so we did not create the cash ledger if you remember the reason is that the cash ledger is created by default when you create the company and besides cash ledger the ledger profit and loss account is also created by default but we need to update its uh, opening balance information so to do so press the escape key and come out of multi ledger creation screen and select the option alter and press enter from the list of ledgers select the cash ledger highlight the opening balance field with the mouse cursor and enter the opening balance amount and save the ledger so at this point all the ledgers are created with its opening balance so now let's see if everything is entered properly or not 
to check everything is entered properly or not go to gateway of tally press the escape key until you reach the gateway of tally at the gateway of tally select the option balance sheet okay now press alt f1 to expand the details so you can notice that all the ledgers are created properly with its respective opening balance you can compare the amount figures from the previous year balance sheet with the figures from this balance sheet so with this exercise you learned how to create ledgers in tally so in the next video i will show you how to modify an existing ledgers in case if you have made any mistakes or in case if you want to delete the ledger completely